According to reports, King Charles III and Prince William have chosen to keep their distance from Prince Harry because they still don't trust him. Women's Day claimed that the monarch and his successor just did what they had to do when the Queen died. However, this doesn't mean that everything is going well between King Charles III, Prince William and Prince Harry. Harry is like a raw nerve at the best of times, and William tries his best to hold everything together, despite his own pain from Harry's recent behaviour. And now he fears it's all for nothing, the source said. The source said that King Charles III has not forgotten everything that Prince Harry and Markle said about him. That's why he believes it's best if he keeps his distance from them. He will never forget how much Harry has hurt him by claiming he was a bad father who cut his son off financially, neither of which is true, the source said. The source also claims that no one can blame Prince William for not trusting Prince Harry because of everything he's done and said. William is the first to admit he no longer trusts Harry and won't be alone with him, but he's not heartless. He was willing to put their issues aside in honour of the Queen. They're both grieving, the source said. Moreover, Catherine, the Princess of Wales, allegedly wanted to keep her sister-in-law Meghan Markle away from her during her UK visit. Catherine and Meghan were recently seen together with their husbands in Windsor, greeting fans together after the Queen's passing. However, while the reunion of the Fab Four illustrated a united front, royal expert Neil Sean has claimed that the Princess of Wales wanted Meghan away from her. Mr Sean said she, Catherine, was indeed terrified and wanted Meghan to keep away, simply because she felt that whatever was discussed, even in an informal chat, could have been leaked out. He continued, I'm not suggesting, and neither was Catherine, I might point out that even small talk, but you seemingly never know. As we told you recently, Gail King seemingly had a hotline to whatever was going on, and was able to speak at length to the media US team about, you know, the fact that things weren't going particularly well. Meanwhile, Sussex is warned that people will stop believing you if they continue to make allegations about their lives as members of the royal family. Speaking on a recent episode of Royally Us, Hosts Christina Gabribaldi and Christine Ross discuss past claims that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have made, in particular recent ones made by Meghan Markle, in her interview with The Cut. Miss Ross claims that the couple should think in the future about claims they make as it could lead to people not believing them. Speaking upon Meghan's claims of racism against her children, Miss Ross said, This is just another example where if Meghan was taking advice from someone who ran a PR campaign, this claims may not have been released. She added, that's why big celebrities have, you know, PR companies and assistants and things like that, running their team to make sure that these blunders don't happen. Miss Garibaldi then spoke of claims that Meghan had made that she'd married Prince Harry before their big day on May the 19th, 2018. She said, even goes back to a CBS interview when she said that they got married before they did. Even the priest came forward saying, no, that wasn't true. Miss Garibaldi added, I don't know if she's exaggerating the truth a little bit to make it sound more flashy and splashy, but you've got to be really careful. People are going to fact check every single thing. She added that claims don't look good, adding, people are going to stop believing what you're saying because you keep kind of tripping up on yourself.